Okay, let's give this a go. This is pretty much an experiment. Uh, I'm starting out probably about an eight and a half by eleven page. Uh, I have it set to four thousand. Oops. There's where we are with that. Four thousand by three thousand. You could have it at uh, sixteen hundred by twelve hundred, or half of that at eight hundred by six hundred. We'll get into uh, algebra and calculus later on. I am not telling the truth there. Okay, so pinning a mountain goat. This is essentially uh, an experiment. Because I'm not sure. Yeah, let's just start in. First thing you do is just choose for me. Well, that I'm doing for me on this. Yeah, this is an experiment. Um, just get a fairly light blue. What do I got here? Pressure all the way up. This is an art rage. I'm sure this can be done in any painting program where mixing is probably best not to have a lot of mixing. It's just straight colors. I got the thinners here in RH5, and important in RH5, one I have on the canvas setting of the uh, canvas lighting off. So there you go. Capacity's all the way up. And Insta Dry on. Have it checked and auto clean checked also. And stiffness and aspect, no rotation. All right, yeah, just start. Yeah, I got a fairly light sky blue and just color it in pretty much down to here, you know, past oh, about three quarters of the way down. Okay, it's an experiment because uh, I'm kind of dissatisfied with how my channel is going. I'm trying to do more realistic things, and they just don't make good videos, I don't think. Um, people don't want to stick around for them. They kind of leave early, and they don't come back. And uh, I suppose this is to... Uh, you know what? If I, I mean, I could keep, I could keep doing that. I am getting some <clears throat> showing in the rankings, but you know, if people don't want to stick around. What am I doing? So I don't know. I thought I'd try this as an experiment. I'm not sure what to do with my channel, so uh, I'm trying something else. I'm, I'm not sure what. All right. Well, all anyway, right. Anyway, with that out of the way, and uh, yeah, you can change if you hold down the shift key and drag the shift key and then drag. Um, at least with a uh, on the tablet with a Wacom, it will change the size of it. Drag over, you can see it over there. Change the size. Oops. Okay, so ooh, now I want to try uh, or find out about the middle of it. So you can just kind of do this kind of eyeball. Where's do it cross from corner to corner? Is about middle, right? So we'll do that. And oops. And then the idea is to make kind of an S curve. And this is definitely freehand. This is not, well, not as much of an S curve. Let's do that. Let's flatten it out here on the bottom. And I can even just sort of bring it up there a little. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Yeah, this is this is not in an effort to be perfect. And then we can go another line up. About, about like so and parallel it. Can you say parallel and curves? Uh, yeah, you could do this with like acrylics here. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Harder to do with real paint, so I guess I'm kind of cheating there. Eh, it's all right. Uh, all right, so we got a couple of these sort of S curves, flatter here on this side. Then let's go to white over here and then do sort of like these. Let's do flat on the bottom. It's sort of a medium sized brush. And then do uh, one curve here, a higher curve, sort of like a crown, and then another lower curve down here. And fill that in. Then do another one, same thing. Do flat on the bottom, do lower, higher, lower. And round this off if you want. Should probably do that. Yeah, I should round that off. Actually, I should do a curve. And here I am cheating with the. Uh, digital paint. I should not do that. I should not do that. If this, if this proposes to be something you could do in any 
Actually, I shouldn't have that white. I'm sorry, just a minute. That is a bad move to be instructing and you don't know what you're doing. Well, anyway, let's just try it again. See, that's where, that's where my viewers take off. Okay, well, I'll learn, I suppose, if I keep doing this. I don't know. We'll see. Let's do this real quick. You know, good enough. And then another one down here. So what is that? Sorry, the color is kind of a light blue. You can see over here, it's getting over into in this area, getting more toward the blue. So it's not quite white. White's up here on the way on the side. So just bring it in a bit up here in the lighter, and you get kind of a light blue. We'll take that one down here too. As a matter of fact, I'll just fix that. Okay. So it's somewhere in there, and then we can take this one. Hang on, let me take it over here. All right. Whoops. I shouldn't do. Uh, I shouldn't do undo either. Okay. I won't do undo. All right. So right about there. And then let's do a darker blue. Right on here. And parallel up here, up to the top. No undo. Careful. And do that. Yeah, my that's one thing about my realistic stuff is my line is wobbly. Some people have really practiced their lines I haven't. So that's probably oh oh half the width of this or what is that? Maybe yeah, about half half the width of these two. And then take it down to even smaller and probably what is that? Less than a quarter of the width, right? Oops. Come on down. I can make a little bit of a curve out of that too. Come down here. It doesn't want to do it because I'm on a tablet. It's hard for, hard for me to do that anyway. So we get these two. And then what is next? Okay, so and then we'll go sort of a medium gray. You can have a little bit of blue to it. Down if you look down here in the left uh, corner or right corner. Sorry, lower right corner. Yeah, sort of a a little more than halfway gray, like there's halfway gray. This is halfway gray with some blue. We'll just take a little bit lighter with some blue. That's about where we are. Okay. Then we'll do a triangle. Uh, where was halfway? About here, right? So take it about halfway and then also uh, about a third of the way across and just draw up. Let me do that. Or here, I don't need to do that right now. Hang on, sorry. All right, and then overlap it a little bit, and go to the middle of the middle of the page like that. I'm just showing you. So you know, right about right about there. Or no, I'm sorry, that far over. Let's take it below the cloud though. And uh, so halfway across, halfway across and below the cloud, right there. And I'll draw from that point. And then, oops, and overlap it over there. Yeah, that's me and the tablet. And then make it just as wide going this way. From so we'll do that. Hang on, hang on. And then another one in the middle, which is a little bit higher than this, just below the cloud here, and about halfway in between, right? So we'll just do that and that. And that's right about up, about up to the cloud. Yeah, I'm being Mr. Instructor here. Not even sure the type of attitude I want to have on this. I imagine it, it, I could be a little bit more uh, more of a smart aleck with this stuff at some point, but I don't know if I'll do that here or not. <laughs> I'm just trying it. I'm just straight out trying it. That's what's going on right now. Because I want to do something different with my channel. Yeah. I do want people to watch it, but I also want to make something I think worth that I think is worthwhile, worth watching. Okay, so let's take this over to the white. That can be over here on the side, you know, full white. And let's go. Actually, I should do that first. Well, yeah, didn't think this through. Let me think here. Let's hold off on this. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, no Bob Ross yet. Someday, baby, someday. All right, let's take it up to here somewhere. Important point with this is that it's uh, it's the highest point out of all these triangles. It needs to be higher than all of them. So I'll take it up to about here, 
and about a quarter of the way across, right? One, halfway, three, and four. Well, what did I do? That's wrong, isn't it? Where's middle? There's middle. Eh, okay, so there's middle, and then divide it again, right? So take it there, and then higher than this one. So right about there, right? And then uh, draw that straight down. Parallel with this, what this line used to do. So let's take it, tell you what, let's take it down below the top of this one, something like that, and draw straight up. And I told you I'm not doing perfect lines. This is totally freehand. All right, and we're making a good steep cone out of this one. Now, we're, we want it to be just as wide, so that'll take us out to, you know, go about halfway down, just so it matches the same angle we go in the other way. I am being the instructor. Fill it in. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know why I'm doing this, except that I just I want to change my channel somehow. Probably the best thing to do is make better pictures. But I'm not even sure if that makes any... Oops, I didn't fill this in here. Mm, what do we do? Let's just take it out a little bit. Yeah. Or if you have any more blue left over, you could fill that in here. We'll just do that. Okay. Uh, what's next? Then we will do full white. And do this. Now, I want to go down. Let's see. What do I want to do? Let's go about down halfway here. Oops, that's too wide. Sorry. Okay, go up here and kind of narrow and then take it over. Yeah, now some of this I want to do on this is going to be freehand. So just kind of figure out best you can. You know, it's actually that shouldn't be as far down as this. So take that for further down and then this one kind of over going that way at kind of an angle. And then this one also. I'm losing viewers as I speak. Okay, if I haven't already. All right, so there's that. And then, yep. Pull it all the way to the top. Take this down there. Come on. Here we go. Fill it in. Fill it in. All right. Okay, and I guess I won't worry about this too much over here. Yeah, because it's going to be a wobbly line. I actually do want a point on that. Let's just narrow that out a bit. Uh, if you're doing it for real, I don't really use a whole lot of real brushes, so... You know, whatever small brush you can get to get kind of more of a point going there. All right, let's go over here too. That's too low, but that's all right. Let's do a similar thing. I figure about there and then sort of halfway down and then a little bit lower and then over so that this matches. Oops, shoot. Oh, I did an undo. Okay, and we'll just do that. So, you know, this one's a little higher. This one's about in the middle and this one's... So it kind of does this curve like this. Okay, so let's do that. And then do this one, similar thing. So we'll go here. Oh, I guess not so similar. Take this one at a good angle out that way. And then over to here. So we'll do that. And then this one. Do, let me think. Uh, we'll just do this. I have a separation over on this, this part right over here. But I'll match it on this side. So otherwise, kind of doing a similar thing to this side. This one goes this way. This one goes this way, right? So we'll do that. Seems pretty straightforward. All right, let's fill all that in. Yeah, and then I got these gaps here. Uh, I won't worry about it. No, we got sirens. Should I pause it? I don't know. I live near a, a hospital, so they're they're going all the time. You know what? I think I will. Hang on. Let's pause it. And we're back. And I'm sure it made no difference. Come on. In the, in the recording itself. Woo! Yeah. I've done a lot of this. Oh, wow. You know what? I am having fun with this, though. So, at least that's me. Oh, I think we are. I wanted to say it was a violin. I'm continually transpose words. No, a siren. You know what, I can fix this a little bit here now that we're all closer in. Yeah, there we go. Closer to the idea. All right. Yeah. Sip of coffee. There you go. There. Oops, cheers to the beans. 
All right. Um, come on, you. And I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, this uh, this is so different to my channel. I think, I don't know, probably the best thing for me to do is get, uh, my drawings are halfway there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're okay, they're not great. You know, so it's like people turn up and watch it and it's, it's not really cutting it. At least not yet. And so, you know, I'm a little ways off and I feel like doing something. Um, I feel, oops, hang on, so I should have undoed, undid. All right, easy, easy. There we go. But this is so different to my channel uh, as it is that it'll probably take down the viewership immediately just because I think that's how uh, I think that's how Google works or how YouTube works. I don't actually know. There's I know a little bit about yeah I left that's all right I left a little around there because that is where on we will go our goat. All right, just a minute before we do that before we draw our goat. Let's do these. I don't know why it, why it is here. That's about right. Okay. Do sort of a medium line down here. Uh, I want it to go past past halfway, right? Past halfway. Okay, and then we'll do another one over to here, all the way up to the snow line, and draw that down so it goes about halfway underneath this point. So if that makes sense. All right, and we'll fill this one in over there. Okay, so we got that going on. Let's start the goat. Oh, and this was the same gray as the bigger mountain here. Goat. All right. Well, we'll do an inverted triangle with this. Now, where do we take that? We will take that. The point of the triangle. Now, don't fill it in yet. Don't fill it in yet. Don't fill it in yet. So, up to, you know, not halfway. Not yet. Not halfway. Draw it across here. I think I have this right. All right. Come on, I'm an instructor. I should know. I don't. This is all new. Okay. I am having fun. I would like to do a bunch of things like this. I think it would be fun, actually. So, I don't know. Get better at my artwork, and I don't want to wait. Okay. Um, you know, so you're getting you're getting second best here. <laughs> oh, well. All right. What I want to do, I just feel like getting going. You know, let's just do what we can right now. Uh, sort of do a triangle, so like, sorry, just a minute, start, it's sort of a point here, a little too far over, and then just widen it out, there's a really narrow triangle going up, whoops, so do that on the other side too, oh. yeah, I'd like to do some more stuff like this, painting with triangles type of thing, I don't know, maybe I'll call it something like that. All right, just a minute. All right, so we don't have to here. I mean, we can fill in the may as well actually because we gotta. Whoops, we gotta get. All right, now what do I want to do? Now I want to take this line up a little bit and this line up. Oops, a little bit on either side and then drop it down on a curve. There we are. That's our goat back. Goat, mountain goat. It's brown. All I have is brown because it works better. All right, now what I want to do is sort of go through here and sort of match that curve like we did with the clouds or the swooshed air currents out here. Sort of match this curve, but, oh, you know, about halfway down. And we can, oops, fill that in. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't want it to be long or, you know, here. All right, so we'll do that. And then what? Um, so we got a point here, and I have it too far over. Yeah, I have too far to the edge. Well, so it is. And then let's do a curly Q. Actually, I should wait for that until the goat is done. Sorry about that. Wait, wait. So we got this, what? This triangle happening here, right? And then this triangle going downward here with these saddle here. And we'll do another triangle going the other way. Or no, we won't. Hang on. We'll do an upside down triangle here. That just sort of goes back out. Hang on. Goat. Back to the goat head. Go there. And then do over to here. So we'll do that. Oh, how far up? So it's about, oh, if you go down halfway here, you go that same distance up to here, right? So somewhere around 
whoops, somewhere around there, right? That that far up. So we'll do that for the boat. And then since we got this point up here, and we'll take this out. How far out are we going? On? Oop, are we going on that? We're going out to there. So about if you're going to take the same line, go about oh, you know, the middle of the back there. Maybe not that far. Maybe a little bit, a little bit less. So something like that. About that. And then take this down two. Whoops. It's maybe a little too thick. Oh well. I didn't want to do the. All right, that's sort of a triangle, right? Yeah, that's a that's a big snout there. That's a goat snout. Should I try to fix it? All right, we won't. All right, now what do we do? I'm gonna go for goat ears. Now this is where the eyeballing, you know, guessing it kind of comes in. But let's do like a flower petal here. So take another curve like the back. Down like that, kind of, right? Somewhere down to here, about halfway down the head or so. Man, not even that far. And then do another one that's a little bit deeper down to here. And bring it back up to that point, this point here. So fill that in. Good. Okay, I'm making noises. That's great. All right. And at least I'm lively. I must have caught my sleep today. All right. And then take sort of like this thing and then like this curve here and then just turn it upward instead so we'll do one this way I'm too close to the edge but that's alright we'll have a very brave goat that's not not afraid of being up here on that so yeah so a curve going that way and then a little bit more of a curve so like this is more of a curve on the bottom oops shoot alright there we go goat Ah, what do we do here? Make noise? It was wet? Alright, well, we'll just do a, a small spray. Just do kind of like that, a little extra down there curve. Yeah, it's, that's too bad. I, I brought it too close to the edge. Okay, and I actually want to adjust this just a little bit. Just a little bit, bring it up a little higher. There's our goat there. Now, let's... Yeah, we'll just do that. So <clears throat> what I want to kind of do is match, like these go here, this goes here, and then this one kind of goes to the, sort of going to the middle, right? But not quite yet. I want to get a different color. Which one we got here? It's sort of a, down here, sort of a light tan kind of look. Well, let's take that up. We'll do the goat horn. Up. Oops, had a good <clears throat> good curve. Kind of make it go, oops, a little bit straighter out here and then curve good here at the end. And then go a little bit, oops. Yeah, I told you those aren't perfect lines. All right, and then do that a little bit higher over here. So we'll do it, there goes another siren. They go all the time. I think, I think those cats have fun with it, man. I'm just saying. All right. Oh, and I got it outside the cloud. It would have been good to have that in the cloud because it would have... Hang on. Here they are. They just did them wandering around. Hang on. Okay, that gave me a chance to get a sip of coffee. And, and uh... The last crumb of my candy bar. You know. All right. And I'll tell you what, since we started this in here, we'll just kind of flatten that out here where we had a point to the um, triangle. Okay, let's fix this. Let's just bring that in. And that's all right. We got a big nose here. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to have a, that gives it a good character to it. Here, let's give it more of a throat here. All right. This is also, this is also, uh, guessing but let's say we take it about here about halfway down the ear or where's a good place I mean if you don't have your ear the same just in this whole circle here this whole area whatever you have 
just do it about middle or <clears throat> middle way down not middle this let me think here I guess you could say you have like a triangle here and a triangle here and then another triangle a little bit further forward like that right so that's a way to think of how to place it I actually don't want a triangle um, all right let's go to the top of what would be the triangle and just take it you know out to about here so it's somewhere there and you want some back of the head here and then out to the schnoz here out to the bridge of the nose all right and then from there we'll do like this here where I made a curve go that way well we'll just do that going down in well away from it instead so we'll do a curve let's drop it a little lower it's got more it's kind of a nonplussed droop to the eye there okay and yeah this this goat's got character or got added not character attitude Amazing. Uh, dubious about everything he sees. Okay, now, before I continue with that, this is complete white. This is all the way white. Now, I want to get kind of a pink ear. So, we got pink ear. It is a pink ear. Light pink. And do this same thing, kind of, but here, you just do like that, right? Like we had the two curves, we'll do another one about halfway down and so like we did with the mountains we'll match the bottom not so good with the uh... yeah see the way the way to have this is to have it out here on the on the blue or on this blue it would show up better oh well we have the cloud behind on this one um... yeah it's not opportune or what is it best situated for these lighter color light on light the idea is to have be better is to hear, uh, do a little bit. Of, oh, I forgot this. Is to have like these darker colors, like this one is here, show up right on on a lighter color in the background. That that helps things read uh, for things to read. And like this lighter pink here would be better if that was showing up here in this kind of blue. You can see it, but it's lighter than the blue, or at least somewhere. In, you know, it's not. Actually, it's probably darker than the than the white actually. So maybe it'll work there fine. Whatever it is, it's contrast. You want contrast. All right, let's finish that up, and let me keep talking here. And let's go. I guess I'll go full black. Let's just go full black now. We want to give a character so that it's got this sort of a curve there, but plenty of that uh, circle would be down here, right? So plenty of that. You want only some of it because he's looking right down. He's sort of observing it, regarding it. Hmm. So we'll do that. You know, like not turning the head down, just peering down to the bottom of his eyelid. Not really giving it that much attention. He's just regarding it from up here. I mean, he could turn could turn his head down and look, you know, and then his, he'd be able to look, ah! But here, he's just, hmm. Sort of the general, general squint. All right, so and then we'll do another one, just like we have the flat line across here. We'll do a flat line further up, kind of a thick eyebrow up here. We'll do that, and then up here, not quite to the point of the nose. Let's do this, and then another kind of straight out. Kind of like that. And this one, we do want it pointed down, not straight out. Pointed down about that far. Maybe not quite halfway up. Hmm. You know. Not necessarily impressed. Okay. This I wanted to do. Okay. Before we do that, hang on. Sorry. Let's give him the gruff. Billy Goat's gruff. So we'll just do about like that. Do another curve like we did with these, like the ear and the tail, except really narrow. And take it about straight down. Not out, but straight down, right? And then then over. So we'll do pretty narrow. And then do another one this way. Uh, probably a little bit longer. And more tilted 
inward, and another one's tilted even further inward, and this one's shorter than all of them. This is the shortest one. Whoops. Oh, well. That'll work. Mm -mm. See? He's got sort of a low set to the jaw. What do I behold here? Okay, so that's a big goat. That'll work. Yeah, close enough. All right, let's do. Let's do some goat horn spin here. All right, just do a bunch of lines. Yeah, if you want to offset them, like you know, not start at the same place, but start halfway in between the ones below, and just do that. That helps. Give an offset to them. Hmm. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. And we want a real kind of. Uh, low slack to the cheek here because we'll give them a, a good, good drop to the eyelid. There we are. Whoops, that's too much. That's too much. Sorry, hang on. I'll fix it. I'll, fi I'll go ahead and fix it even though I shouldn't, you know. All right, more like that. Here. All right, there's that. Now, let's see, a couple other things. Let's take this same tan. Now let's do some curly cues here. And then, yeah. And then do some more of these spikes here, and except straight down, so like uh, icicles. So we'll just do that, more triangles. There we go, straight down triangles. More of the woolly uh, mountain goat. That's about the best I have for the goat. All right, here. I'll tell you what, I want to. I want to thicken the neck here a little more. There we are. The goat neck. Oh, and one thing I forgot about that. Let's do. Let's just do the back hoof there. Two points. One little point there and one little point there. We'll do a hoof. Here we can just make the back one go that way. There you go. We'll just do it like one, two, three. There. And then only a couple of things more here. Let's, let's draw that a little further down. There. Give it more of a purchase there, more of a balance, it's more set into the hill, right? So we've got this longer metal that represents it now too far. Okay, real quick, one more thing, and we'll draw this in somewhere off to the side of this tip. We'll just kind of go over here somewhere, and then do a boardy board, and then another one over here. Let's just go into the cloud or to the side of the cloud, wherever you have it doesn't have to be perfect but that one's definitely lower sort of an angle to that because we got this angle like that right so it just sort of does that kind of angle that's the kind of the whole point of it is this there this there and that there right kind of a thing let's fill those in and that'll be good I don't know if these should be I could make these a little lighter but I decided to opt for black even though they're kind of far away. See, that's the thing is, if they're farther away, you have more air in between, so it gets more misty, more hazy with the more air you have in between. It's called atmospheric perspective. That's why these wings, these mountains, are lighter than this near one. That's why they're, there's, that means there's more air in between, right? That's also why I had these clouds uh, a little, a little darker than full white on the, on the mountains because that also means they're, they have more air in between, more air in between so that actually, in their case, it dims it, you know, because they're already really bright. Everything evens out. The lighter stuff goes dimmer, and the darker stuff goes lighter till it all turns into sort of a middle haze, whatever it'll be. Not necessarily this, whatever. Eventually, it all goes to a, a, a standard haze because you don't see through it, right? The birds could probably be dimmer to, or sorry, more a lighter color. Because they're farther back, they're dark birds, so they would go lighter with more haze in between. But I guess just just so that you have like a dark here, 
that's for composition for a darker goat and then darker bird series. So I got the black on the goat here. We'll just keep that keep that color going around the image. I'm not incredible at composition. Take a look at this, but you know, there's some things I know about. Hey, you know what I tell you? I'm, I'm, I'm still figuring out what's going on with my channel. So we're doing that. And you just got a real puff ball right there, right where the goat is. Okay, and I'm calling that, yeah, that's the most of the goat. I wonder if I couldn't. Let's go ahead and do this a little bit and get this same blue. I, want, I would like to just kind of, whoops. Kind of, oops, yeah, kind of th thicken this. It's hard to draw with this dang Wacom, I tell you. Or Wacom, sorry. Yes, I'm one of the Wacom people. Hang on, let's do this. Doing a little extra. And how long's this been anyway? Ooh, wow, more than half an hour. Wow, more than half an hour. I'll be darned. All right, now I am American, so I say I'll be darned. All right, from the West Coast, I'll be the goat. All right, for the. Uh, is that too much? Might be. Here, let's put a little more up here on the top. Yeah, let's I think, balance it out a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead and do stuff like that if you want with it. That's more of a skinny goat. Hang on. Let's just. Oops. Let's. Do, Come on, where's that at? Let's thicken this goat here, give him more of a haunch. And probably take this stuff in too a little bit, just fill it in. All right, that's a little better. Come on. That's more of a skinny goat than I figure it ought to be. And you can tell how tired I am. Okay. I'll leave it at that, but we want to take this up a little bit too. Let's take more of a. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, we could give it more of a slope here on the back end. So not quite. More of an angle up here than just a straight. Oops, more than just an even curve. We can. Give it more of a slope over here. That helps. That helps kind of emphasize the nose a little bit. You have these two curves going like that. All right, we'll leave it at that. I think. So there's the experiment, and I'll go ahead and make a video of it. Good enough. Have fun, everybody, and. Thank you for what am I saying? Watching. Oops, hey goat. Watching. There you go. Alright. You can make a card out of it, huh? Signing off. Thank you very much. Shuzu. Okay.